Hello guys, welcome back to Chelsea Fan TV. It's Nina here and we have just beat Villa 2-0 away at their ground. Good result, a clean sheet. However, the performance did not match that result. Uh, so firstly, a few things. I think man of the match for me personally was no doubt Kepa. I think Kepa absolutely lived up in that game and I think we kept the clean sheet because of him. I think he's the only player that we can actually safely say that is why we got the clean sheet. Uh, so fantastic from him. I think that's now four clean sheets in a row that he's had. And not only, but he had amazing saves uh, in the game. He really, really kept them out um, of our net for that first half, especially with all of those brilliant saves. Uh, it was a shame that we had to make him work so hard because, uh, you know, with the early opener after Mason Mount scored, um, I thought, yep, OK, great, we've got it. We can now set the tone uh, of the game. Getting an early opener is always good because it means that it sets the pace for the rest of the game uh, however we did not follow that uh, so we made Kepa work hard uh, we easily could have uh, gone three one down in that first half uh, I think they were challenging and threatening us constantly our football was messy there was no coordination no structure whatsoever we were just flinging the ball left right and centre charging at them and there was just a lack of control even if we were dominating in possession there was a lack of control and we didn't do much with that uh, so for me, I think we were outplayed today. I think uh, fantastic that Mason Mount got two goals because, you know, he is slowly coming in. I've said this before, he's slowly getting back, uh, you know, his great form that he's had in the previous seasons and he's becoming that playmaker. So fantastic uh, goal from open play, great volley, great assist from Chile and uh, that free kick. I mean, it just speaks for itself. I think beautiful way to get a goal and... Uh, yeah, so it's great to see in that aspect that those individual players that we've been, you know, kind of yearning to see uh, rise up and perform well have actually started doing that because it's important. And in a game like that, you need just one player, even if the rest aren't, you know, uh, playing well. We just need that one player that can you know, finish and close the game down. So that's what Mason Mount did. I actually don't know how we didn't concede in that game. I think defensively we looked awful. Uh, midfield as well. I think there were so many things that were lacking. And, uh, you know, we're lucky that Villa actually couldn't finish their chances because they easily, easily could have won that game as well. We, we just got lucky that, you know, they were just as bad in finishing their chances. So from that aspect, not good. We have a lot of things to improve. Uh, of course, three points is great to take away. The clean sheet as well. However, performance-wise, it wasn't good. There was too many individual mistakes. Even Chile got outplayed at the left. Uh, we let a lot of attacks uh, happen from that side. Uh, so there was sort of a lack of control in that game. And uh, we struggled to form, uh, you know, structured attacks. Uh, so that it was a real struggle in that game. Uh, of course, it's great we came out on top, but I actually... I, I don't know how we did. Uh, so again, want to just praise Kepa. It just goes to show, you know, when you stick with one keeper uh, and you, you know, you show that you've got faith in him because, you know, Kepa has been second pick for the longest time since we've had Mendy just because of how great and successful he's been for us. Uh, but it just goes to show, you know, put Kepa in goal and he can actually do a job, a good job of uh, bloody, you know, saving uh, all these dangerous and threatening uh, moments uh, of football. Uh, so it's fantastic to see that his confidence is rising up. I think that's exactly what we need. And Kepa is really, really starting to thrive. And uh, I hope that we're never going to really blame him again for something that goes wrong because of how good he actually is at the moment for us. Uh, footwork as well, a lot better. And I think Kepa would have felt a, probably a little bit let, let down after that game uh, just because of the lack of support he got. And uh, yeah, just the work, work that he had to do, which could have been prevented prevented had we been more clinical uh, with our passes and a lot more constructed in our attacks. Uh, so big areas of improvement there. I think Potter as well looks very worried on that sideline because despite, you know, being 2-0 up, when you're playing the way that we, are, we were, it wasn't it wasn't good because next time we're going to play a team that are actually going to finish those chances because Villa created a lot for themselves. They had shots on target, but they were just unlucky in finishing them because Kepa saved them. However, had it been another team that provided a lot more urgency, 
we would have been uh, massively outplayed in that game and we would have been defeated. So that these are huge areas uh, of improvement. And, uh, you know, right now, as it well, Reese James is out for a good while. Fafana is still injured. So this is where the real tests are coming. You know, how much depth have we actually got in our squad and how much can we actually come out on top with all these absences? You know, because things like that are going to happen. Injuries are part of the game. It's what you do and how you deal with the situation that matters uh so potter is really gonna i think watch that game again and make some some very important decisions but on a much much more positive note we are you know sitting comfortably in top four it's good to get these wins because we're performing now in the prem as well as other competitions and that's exactly what we need we need to be very very careful uh we can't really lose points at this point now because it's getting so tight in the top in the race for top four so we need to be very very careful um and our upcoming fixtures are just going to be a lot more important from now on uh but it's definitely it, I wouldn't say that there was a massive improvement from the previous games we've watched because we 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 saw Chelsea uh, come up with some amazing performances in our previous games, you know, especially against AC Milan and even Wolves. You know, we saw really good games there, uh, but performances need to improve. But it's good that we're seeing these little changes, these little steps. And, uh, you know, it's just small areas where we can improve. I think I saw a lot more from Havertz as well today. Sterling, not so much. I wish he would have, you know, he was unlucky with the crossbar, but I wish he would have been a little more uh, clinical because he could have finished uh at least two or three of those chances especially in the second half he was a bit unlucky there as well but I didn't see the best in him today Aubameyang a few individual uh, mistakes which could have been costly for us as well I don't think he particularly had the best game ever but it's okay because th these are things that will improve you know our strikers we've we've actually seen um, you know very good things from them uh, so far so you know not going to be rushed to condemn them or anything because it's it's all work in progress and that's fantastic to see so on a much brighter note, three points a day, a lovely clean sheet to maintain our confidence. And, you know, let's keep this streak. Let's keep this uh, winning streak because, you know, we absolutely have a lot of time to improve. And, you know, we're seeing what we want to see from Potter. He's switching it up. He's still experimenting. So let's be patient and just see what comes out of it. So, yeah. Thank you for watching my video. Let us know what you think in the comments. How did you think that game went? And up the Chelsea.